Okay, so, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so what we just did was an internet example of the time machine that we had talked about in class. Thanks to Mid High Khan here for playing Rod Taylor. Did a really excellent job. So, hopefully, you know, this simplifies things for people where, like, when we put this up, it's just that, like, we use green screen. But unfortunately, the green screen wasn't used to the effect that it usually is used for. We're supposed to have light on the green screen. So we just used the green screen so that way it wouldn't have the actual objects <laughs> that you see that we use to create the lighting. So when we when, uh, put this into effect, I would probably have a struggle, but it would be better than it looking like this table, <laughs> right, uh, for it to look like something else and everything. And see, we had like uh, the lighting effects. Again, as I said, time will be like for the light festival in a way. So we use light in a lot of different ways. <clears throat> we use the uh, old fashioned way of candlelight, like in a scene where uh, Minha enters the scene with a candle and he enters his time machine, which has uh, multi colors, which you can't really probably see on camera. But trust me, when the effects go in, then you can see it. Thanks, Jamie, for loaning us his uh, lighting glasses because Midha would have been blind otherwise. And we got this nice little Christmas light. So that means any household items that you can find. Uh, as you see with the cutaways uh, that we have out there, the idea is, is that uh, Midha enters the room. As he enters two rooms, actually. He entered the first room. Um, which I had to figure out which way to do it. Probably this will be the beginning. So even though you entered that first room, um, it'll probably be like, you know, uh, you enter this one because obviously this is more of a blank canvas, right? Where the time machine would be. So he enters the time machine and like he has his lever, which is pretty cool. So as he goes forward into time, right? You saw the lighting effects. Mm -hmm. So with Jamie flicking on and off the lights, Mal over there flicking lights there, we shot this self same scene twice. We shot it here in our first space where the time machine is, and we shot it out there in a more anachronistic um, state. Now also I just shot that as a background too, like the uh, cabinet where you were in front of. So what we hope should happen because we shot on a tripod, which we normally don't do. <laughs> we did, thank you, Nigel. Is, is that I could fade in the time machine into the actual area. And, but we also did two things. We had you enter that time machine in that room, and we had you enter here. So what happens is, as a director, it's about making choices. So when we look at the edit, I can choose either way. But I probably would have him enter there. He's already sitting there. And then what will happen is once he goes um, either forward or back, he will enter that space. Probably he would enter that space logically when he goes back and stuff. Um, he exits the room, which he didn't do there. But he enters and exits, which is the idea of the film. But what we might do is... Um, just to give it a little bit more flavor is when he exited out this door, have him enter the door into there. Why? Anybody? Because he's he's leaving the scene which is in the future. He's reappearing in the past. Excellent, Mal. So his goal, as we had him say, is I gotta go back to change the future. So then we will continue, even though it's still an enter and exit film. We just add that little addendum that he exits this room and he enters into the past. And what do you see first thing? In the past. Yeah. 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 When you and we entered that room. Oh, the time machine. No. Oh, first. the record player. And it's like that island, one room, and everything's. Yeah. He entered. He entered <clears throat> the room. It's anachronistic, right? I shot a lot of different cutaways, but he got caught up onto the record player. So I had him to go right onto the record player and then it's kind of like, I'm back. It's like somewhere in time in a way. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, or like when Rod Taylor, remember when he was looking at the mannequin scene, 
Yeah. Right? And like he walked out and he, and he goes up and he, and, he ends, and he goes there. So what happens is our character actually enters a back past place by being in a somewhat futuristic place. More than likely this would probably be all like super bright white or whatever and that kind of thing. You know, so he's in a supposed future place and he enters a past place and that is a complete piece. Yeah? Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Alright, so hopefully that inspires people to like when they're like, oh, what am I going to do? What do I need? There are a lot of elements here to use, right? The scene was simply done. I mean, I don't know. I think it only took, maybe it taken maybe about an hour or so to do, but it was also, it was about finding the elements and the idea and all of that other kind of stuff. So um, it can happen in a short period of time and stuff. And how do you feel about it? I feel all right about it. It was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I mean, like, also, too, is, you know, why he's wearing this hat? Why is he wearing this robes? It was just so we could get some sense of anachronicity. If he's wearing a superhero Avengers top, you know, which we were trying our best to cover up. But then again, is if we establish that his character is not from the past, but he's from the future, we're taking the trope elements of like somewhere in time. So in somewhere in time, the professor told like Christopher Reeves that if he surrounds himself with past elements, yeah. that will help him go to the past. So, you know, we have that theory as well. So, you know, even though he's not fully dressed as in the time past outfit, the idea is he's trying to make himself that way. Make sense? Yeah. So, cool. I thought right. that performance was very good as well. And can we yeah, see now before? Jamie attempted to be Donald Trump. <laughs> you won't see that, unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not a Trump thing. It just was kind of funny. Um, let's throw in some lines, whether we use them or not or not, but it's funny that if he goes into the future and he only goes five days and it's horrible, and that's why he goes back. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, um, it just was a funny way of doing the grandfather clause because if he had to go really far back in the past, it's not really doing anything about a potential, you know, Trump, maybe. Trump's dad, granddad, who knows? <laughs> just, just, just get it going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>